Hello everyone. In this video, I shall discuss with you how to use demographic data uh, as a part of your analysis by coding the demographic data. So for this purpose, uh, you have to code the demographic data. So how the coding of the demographic data is done. But before I start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for further videos because without your subscription, I will not be able to carry on the channel successfully. So please don't forget to subscribe. So uh, as can be seen in this demographic profile, I've asked the respondents about the name, city, age and educational qualification so if i want to make age a part of my analysis or education qualification a part of my analysis i would have to quantify this because the software for analysis would require it to be in quantitative terms so uh, sometimes it happens is that we also collect the demographic profile of the respondents but do not make it a part of the analysis because we do not know what to do with it so i'll be discussing in my next video how you can use use a demographic profile and use it for the purpose of your analysis and enhance uh, the qual qual uh, the quality of your research but before that uh, i would tell you how demographic data uh, needs to be coded so that later on it can form a part of your analysis so age age has been divided into three groups above 25 above 30 above 40 educational qualification graduate and postgraduate so what i'll do is i would open an spss sheet go to variable view type age in name and qualification and then i'll do the coding under the values column uh, zero say is for above 25 so above 25 as has been coded i'll add this because i've already added this so it will ask me whether you want to replace it or not and same is with one so one will be given to above 30 um, this code will be given so I'll add this also and this is okay so uh, because I've already feeded it so it will ask for the replacement so this is how I would quantify my data as 0 1 and 2 you can quantify it as 1 2 and 3 also that depends upon uh, what you want to do so uh, the author the person who's feeding the data should know that one means above 30 or one means above uh, 25 so that is dependent upon you you should know what uh, coding you've given to a particular data moreover the value label will be given accordingly so the results will show them accordingly so when i'll uh, go in for further analysis i'll show you how uh, this is shown in your results in your output so this is how we go in for the coding same as for graduate i had two categories in my questionnaire the graduates and postgraduates so i've used code zero for graduates and one for postgraduates and have done the coding then i'll go for okay and then in the data view i am able to see the responses of the respondents in various categories so it is two one three and zero one for qualification as feeded by my uh, by me and i can feed the data accordingly so this is how we do it so in the first variable it is either 0 1 and 2 and in the next variable it is 0 1 because we had two categories only so this is how you go in for the coding of your demographic data uh, in the next video i shall be telling you how uh, descriptive statistics can be applied on your demographic data and it can be used to form the demographic table i had shown you yesterday in the sample characteristics the table forms a part of your uh, uh, sample characteristics or demographic profile which you uh, have to give in your research paper so i'll show you in the next video how to do that and in my further videos i will also tell you how demographic uh, variables become uh, an important part of your analysis and enhance the quality of your research paper thanks for watching thanks for now and don't forget to like share and subscribe